Uh, we actually had a Hampton Roads Green Building Council touring event. Uh, they had a lot of people, a lot of donors and people who were interested in the project to come and uh, tour the house and hear about our design. Uh, you mentioned the two large operable windows. Um, another tactic to those is our vaulted ceiling. We allow a lot of the hot air to escape out these uh, windows up here with the tilt operation. We also vaulted the ceiling, you know, sloping the roof to maximize the gain from the solar panels. So we just utilized that move to make the space larger and get some nice ventilation coming out of the house. These windows are double glazed, so they will keep the heat in during the winter and the cool in during the warmer months. On the exterior, which we don't have presently shown, will be window shades um, to block the sun when it's high in the sky during the summer months and when it's lower in the winter, we can get maximum sun exposure into the space. We're, we're talking about things that we have been talking about really amongst ourselves for upwards of a year now. It's kind of fun talking to people who may not know these things and they're being introduced to it for the first time. This 12 foot by 7 foot space will be a window. It's divided in two, lower half is fixed, upper half is on a motorized system and can be dropped down to half height where it makes a code height railing. It's laminated safety glass so it's, it's strong and secure. We're separating the black water from the toilet from all the other plumbing in the home and we'll be sending it to this gray water tank right here. You can look at it when you go outside and we'll pump the gray water through these flower beds which should be along the back here. This is a warm up for uh, what we'll be doing when we're touring the house uh, in DC in September. So. I mean, we're going to be doing the same thing, so it, yeah, it is actually a great, you know, warm-up uh, for that experience. You can see here the faucet is flexible instead of, of being rigid, the same one, one over there, to facilitate the movement of the actual, the actual block. Because when we're going to move the block, we need to take the faucet out and put it back. If it's flexible, it's, it's, it's way better. Uh, I'm pretty sure there are going to be hundreds of thousands of people who come to, come to visit us in D.C. during the competition, so... I mean, this is a mild kind of, you know, warm up, you know, five or six groups, but we're going to be doing this, you know, all day up in D.C., so, you know, start preparing ourselves for that now. It's best. <laughs> we'll drink plenty of water.